Air quality is still a big issue for everyone in mid-Michigan. Today, Ingham County issued an air quality alert advising people with heart or lung disease, older adults, children, and teens to reduce their exposure outside. For some people, staying inside isn't an option as their jobs require them to work outdoors. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. At Hyacinth House Flower Shop in Lansing, one employee there has asthma. News 10's Maya Kuznicki joined her at work today to see how she's dealing with the smoke in the air. My eyes are itchy, my throat hurts, um, it just doesn't smell very nice. Therese Luia gardens for work, which requires her to be outside for most of her shift, weeding and taking care of plants. Um, my family's been kind of working here for a while. It's pretty cool. Luia loves being outdoors, but the poor air quality conditions in Michigan are affecting her. I was assuming maybe allergies kicked in and I was like, um, no, they were gone. And then I just woke up this morning and it was bad. And I was like, I think there's something to do with the smoke going around. Smoke that made its way to Michigan all the way from Canada. Wildfires there have left the northeastern United States in a haze, leading to air quality alerts across the country. It's weird to see the effects of something so far away around here. This morning there was some like smog, I guess is what they call it. It was kind of like foggy out. Um, the sun has kind of been a weird color. Luia also suffers from asthma and the smoky air doesn't help. It's really weird. I've never experienced anything like this before. But Luia is optimistic that we'll see clear skies sometime soon. In Lansing, Amaya Kuznicki, News 10. All of mid-Michigan is dealing with poor air quality right now. It'll continue to be a concern moving into tomorrow as well.